morning to ladies, my name is Jack Sept the Guy and welcome back to Starving in Subnauseous. Oh, here's my little cuttlefish. Hey! Okay, I need food real quick before I start anything. Can I have you? Can I have you? I will have you! Okay, apparently not, apparently it's very hard. Oh, I was very close to hitting my cuttlefish just now. Did I get you? I got you. I'ma eat you! Boom. Oh. They're making noises, wait. You- no! Where are you going? Follow me! Why are you guys playing out here? No, you're scaring daddy! You need to be back here! At this area! One of you is! Why is one of you swimming away? Oh, you're following me already. No, wait, wait, wait. Follow me. Follow me. Come. Come, come, come. Over here. We need to- we need to sit down and have a chat. Okay, which one of you is following me? I really would like- Distinct identifiers between you. Stay there. Is my base leaking? What? What the fuck happened here? Who did this? Did I build something too much and now my hole is ruined? Is that- is that it? Is that- is that what I did? Did I do the bad? Oh, I think I did the bad. Oh, there's holes everywhere. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Ha are they? Okay, they are. I have no idea what happened. What- what's going on? How did I manage to fuck that up? <laughs> oh. It's a bad base. <laughs> Um, oh, that's glitchy. So, what I want to do right now is to maybe make this a work area. Because right now, is, is this area even underwater? Yes, it is. Okay. I might make this a work area, so I might bring the water filtration system up here. So water and food are next to each other. That makes sense? Okay, I have enough space. Uh, let me just take you out. There we go. We got rid of you. I need to make things slightly more efficient. Not that this is efficient. Efficiency would be having it like right next to me at all times. Um, interior pieces. Man, why can't you just go over there? I also want to make some exterior grow beds. And now that I have my uh, time to catch my own ass, apparently there's two more cuttlefish in the game. There's four total. I didn't know that. I was surprised there was even two. So, one of them is in the mushroom forest caves, which doesn't really help me because there's two mushroom forests and a lot of caves. At least the other ones, I was like, okay, I know exactly where these are, they're not that big, I can find it. The other one is in the sand dune sinkhole, which I haven't really explored the sand dunes at all in this, in this version of the series. I explored it before, but I haven't gone there in this new version. So, for anyone who hasn't seen that, I'm gonna go there because that's a scary place. And there's a reason I didn't go there before. Uh, right, and I need to start labeling everything, I need to start putting everything in proper lockers. I'm gonna make a fabricator in here, which is a great suggestion from somebody in the comments. Because then, while I'm like building stuff here, all my items are right next to each other. That- that would save a lot of efficiency. I kinda wanna build a new one though. So I need, um, what do I need for a fabricator? Gold, titanium, and table coral. Okay, table coral! Where did I put my gold? See, this is the problem. Also, I'm building an exterior grow bed. Another great tip from the comments was because then I can plant my gel sacks so I never have to worry about running out of them. Um, I can at least get the titanium. Oh, so much salt. I'm so happy about that. Um, in the last episode I said, I'm gonna just pick up this diamond and leave. And I picked up quartz. Which was hilarious. Um, but... When you're in the middle of fighting for your life, when you're in the middle of being in the deep down, dark, deep down, and you're in the middle of doing crazy shit. See, I should have just closed these bulkheads, huh? They take forever, though. Um, table coral. Where are you? There you are. Thankers. Shouldn't have closed it. Now I have to go back in. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I'm so terribly inefficient. I make great freaking progress, and I do amazing things, and I have a lot of fun. But inefficiency in Subnautica is a very real complication. Um, 
It might shift some stuff around. See, I like having that there. These take up a lot of space. Um, because I want to feel like if I have to put in reinforcement holes or parts, I can put them there, but whatever. Um, can I even put a fabricator there? I can't. Nice. All this stuff right now are kind of placeholders. Because later on, I might just move everything around anyway. I like where my lockers are, though. I like that. That's cool. That's awesome. I feel good about that. I also need to make a medkit fabricator. So I can start building those. Um... But then what do I put in this room? Whenever I really need to build stuff up. I don't know. Hmm. You guys might do for now. I might put like a little common area here. Like a table and some chairs and shit. If you get me. Oh, look at them go. Kevin and Carly. That means if I find more of them, I'm gonna have to bring up, take up, think up of new names. Oh, I took a fabricator off this already. Because I had to put it in the Cyclops. Right. First order of business. I think we're gonna go to the Sand Dunes. I think that's what we, we got on the agenda right now. Because I know where it is, and I know how to get there. All systems online. Welcome all systems online. Thanks. Appreciate it. Stop making noises at me! Um... I do have the Mushroom Forest Warp, if I ever need to go back into the actual... This is probably closer- Oh, sorry. This is probably closer and easier to get to, actually. But I have to bring Pepper to do it. Because I can go over to the island, and I can go through the warp gate there. I end up in the Alien Empress area, and then I can go out there and get to the Ion Cube Fabricator that's in her location. Or I can just go to the Mushroom Forest Warp, and it takes me in outside her room. Because getting out of her actual water area is just a pain in the ass. Right, so it's been a while since I actually went... Hey, Reefies! Right, there's the Mushroom Forest. I can't remember if the sand dunes are this side of it or the far side of it. Oh, there's a wreck. Because the island is over there. Mushroom forest is here. Yeah, I think I have to go further left. I've actually been in that wreck. See, it's probably these mushroom forest caves then that the cuttlefish is in. So I'm gonna have to go exploring, like where my warp gate is. There's a kelp zone. Which terrify me. But kelp zones are where I'm gonna get more eggs. I need to start getting to more biomes. If I go around this, I'll get to the sand dunes. The old dunes, boys! Yup, yup. Oh, that's a ghost leviathan. Never mind. Oh, shit just got real all of a sudden. Everything just got a lot darker and calmer and scarier. <laughs> I'm laughing to hide the pain. <laughs> Okay, I need to be very careful, because there are reapers around here. Is this the sinkhole? Because this was what initially, what I thought... Yeah, this is like a meteor impact site, isn't it? And isn't there a precursor cache around here? Like, right there? I hear a reaper! I mean, let's, let me just explore in here for... Let me just explore in here for real quick. I think I have a purple tablet with me. Might need an orange one, though. Fuck yeah! I'm so lucky with these! Because I brought it thinking if I find a, a cache again, I'm just gonna... Try and use it. Nice! Okay, what area is this? These are just random locations. These are what I thought the warp gates turned into. I thought they got rid of these caches. Apparently they didn't. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PMA data. 
Alien Biological History. This terminal contains data mapping the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed. Was grown from seed 1708 Earth years ago, separated from broodlings, early for special training, inducted into Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate, age 96. So this is aliens. They were grown from a seed on Earth? Oh no. Grown from a seed that many year- Earth years ago. Never mind. Downloaded a corrupted data set that was stored for three years for refactoring. Relocated to the outer galaxy cluster to support disease research endeavors. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research. Contracted Kara bacterium stored in Sanctuary 3. Corporeal body safely disposed. Hmm. Okay, so. Well, is it my translation that's saying corporeal? Or is it them talking about corporeal bodies? Because that kind of gives an insight into what their beliefs are. About like physicality and that kind of stuff. Oh, I hear you, Big Bertha. That's interesting though. So they were a society, obviously, of intelligent creatures. Oh, I'm gonna see a reaper real fucking soon. I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, it's in that direction. Oh, I see him! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's attacking the warper! I didn't know they did that! Oh god, he's very close to me. I didn't know they attacked warpers! I thought warpers attacked everything else! Interesting! So where's the sinkhole? I don't think I've ever been in the sinkhole in... Oh, fuck. Did he see me? He didn't see me. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was scary. They still suck. But it is interesting to see the creatures talk about, like, relocating you for your job in another... Oh, God. <laughs> in another part of the galaxy kind of thing. Do you fucking mind, chompers? I have shit to do, I have people to see, I have holes, holes to burn. Don't need any of your sass! Okay, we in, dog. What we got? Disinfected water. Sick. Never had one of those before. You're not a burnable door. Give me that good good. Give me that great shit. Okay. I hear a warper. Take out that and we'll go through that. Oh, do we have no power in this? Check that shit out, dog! Now you got an ion power cell in you! You can have a billion energies! Probably should have put that into something else, but I feel like my sea glide badly needs one. I use my sea glide most out of. Whoa. I use my sea glide almost more than any other equipment in this entire game. Floodlights! I'm gonna scan all these things now, because I want them for my base. I want cosmetics. Can I have something cool? Like a brand new... TV? <laughs> no, I mean like, something cool like upgrades for things. Like some of the suits. I want more of the suits. I'm not talking about a tuxedo. I'm talking about like, depth suits. Still suits, that kind of stuff. I can't remember where I got those before. I had them in my original playthrough. That was a warper head! Anything to scan? Can I scan the electricity? Jesus. They still get me every time. I'm so... preconditioned to be terrified of that sound that every time I hear it now, even though I'm safe, I still freak out. I didn't get anything from this. Oh, see? I'm still terrified. Oh wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Ooh, a PDA. Okay, I'm gonna try and read that soon. I'm aware of my oxygen right now. Fucking disinfected water. 
Ooh, I can go down. Okay. I'm gonna go back out and get some oxygen. Just so I can survive that tiny bit longer and bring Sally closer. You guys are such noisy bastards! Hey, shut the fuck up! Actually, you know what? Let's get in this and now let's read it. Profitability projections. Two choices. A. Carry on my wayward son, working long haul missions on the outer reaches of space. Or two. Come up with a profitable business sellout to Altera. Live happily ever after. I choose two. Ideas? A robot that builds other robots. That's pretty good. A water filtration system that has infinite power. Solar power? Body heat? Do suns last forever? Oh, the fact that you're trying to think up of this thing, but you're asking if suns last forever is kind of disappointing. A phase gate that can be built by self-repairing robots instead of poor, lonely humans. A VR program that precisely simulates real life. A gun that shoots down other smaller guns. Okay, I am very disappointed that I actually took the time to read that. Reading the musings of a dumb person. Um, where was I going? Where was the area? I, didn't I? Oh yeah, I was going down in here. Ha ha! Down into the blimey deep. There's so much disinfected water here. Jesus, man, stop warping into my shit. There's like nothing in this wreck. This is pointless. This is stupid. This is a bad idea. I want to leave. I forget how I came in. There we go. I didn't forget how I came in, I forget where I came in. That dude's crazy! Hi! Okay, so... Y'all talking about this sinkhole! I need to try find it, but I also need to stop- I also need to avoid getting my ass chomped. Which I think is a great idea. Avoiding shit that'll get me killed? Fantastic idea. My main goal right now is if something actually catches up to me that I can't see, to just keep moving. Keep moving and the shit'll pass, you know? Or it'll catch up to me and bite me. I can't see them. Uh, where am I? I, do, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just keep moving because I'm scared. This is not the dunes. This is a fucking dead zone. Is this the dead zone down here? I don't know. Oh, I'm so scared! I don't want to stay down here and wait for fucking ghost leviathans to show up to confirm my fears. Oh god! You stupid bastard! I'm hearing a lot of reaper activity. Oh, I see him! Oh, he was just illuminated by my lights! Okay, okay, okay. This place is all sorts of hell rammed into one. That's what this game does, man. Makes you fucking paranoid. Oh, no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! He's right there! Okay! Move! Go, Sally! We're a little slow! Don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me, don't catch me! No! Fuck, 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 fuck! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Did I lose him? Did I lose him in the heat in the moment? Hope so. I'm not even turning around to look back. Oh, thank god. Oh boy!
I don't feel like I was prepared for this journey. Emotionally. Oh, there it is! Oh, but there's a fucking reaper right above it! What am I supposed to do against such black magic? Let's fucking go down, that's what I do. Just suck it up! Wait, is this even it? I don't know if this is it. Are we here? Did I make it? Oh, it's 60 degrees down here. Holy balls. Okay. Well, I'm in here now. This is the thing I'm doing. Don't think I've ever actually been in here. Pretty though. Can you get off? Oh yeah, heat, heat, bad, fire. Fire, lava, hot. Okay. Is this actually where a cuttlefish is supposed to be? Oh god, you scared me. I thought it was him. I don't know, I'm kinda confused. Oh, that is scary. Oh god! Fuck you! Hate this game. Oh God, it's not him. Seeing that shadow loom above you is terrifying. I couldn't find the cuttlefish egg in that place. Is it still there? I searched for ages as well, and I couldn't find it. I'm just kind of searching around the dunes, because I don't know where anything is anymore. Before, you could kind of use console commands to check if you were in the right area. By checking, like, latitude, longitude, but I can't really do that anymore. And the dunes is a big place, and it's full of very, very nasty dudes. Alright. I've wasted an hour of my time trying to find these frickin' eggs already. I went to the sinkhole, couldn't find the egg. I'll, I'll do it another time. Welcome aboard. Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, we're out. We made it. <laughs> what I want to do now, then, instead, is head to somewhere where light actually exists, which would be fantastic. I want to go to the, the deep reef again. Actually, if I just go to the blood kelp zone, I'll probably be able to get to it from there. Is that where the other island is? Is that the other island? Are you the other island? I don't know where the island... <laughs> I need to get to the island because I need to find where the Degassi base is. Where I got the first cuddlefish egg. And no, we're not going back to get cuddlefish eggs. I want to find crab squid eggs. That's one of the first things that I want to do around here. Well, at least we got to see the sand dunes a bit more. Okay, apparently it's just daytime right here. Um, because I hadn't been to the sand dunes in a while. And while that was a rough ride, we still got to explore around a small bit, so... I need to find more wrecks. I'm trying to figure out what other places I haven't been to. Maybe the bulb... bush zone? I haven't been to the other blood kelp zone all that much. If I go to those zones, I might find more wrecks, because then I might find more blueprints for stuff. I want cool shit, man. I want all the toys. Also, I fucking hate nighttime in this game. It sucks. Where does the lighting just change on a dime? Different biomes shouldn't have different lighting. I was really far away. I was really far away from where I thought I was. Hi, Reefy. I mean, hey, Reefy. Yeah, this is the island. It has to be. You know it's the island when that creepy ass music kicks in. Oh God! Hi. Oh, that was creepy. You got anything good on your back? People were saying as well that the reef back eggs are not actually implemented into the game yet. Which is really disappointing. 
and that the eggs that I got that turned into spade fish were actually reef back eggs or at least they share a similar model so after a while maybe they'll turn into the same thing I don't know is this the thing that I got already yep 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 that's the thing god reef backs are kinda spooky in the dark times right where am I going down I need to go to the deep down dark deep down deep deep down dark deep down Okay, that's blood kelp. I don't need that. I need the other one. That's one bad. I need the other bad. Whoa. You're all bent and broken and out of shape, you do. There's a torpedo arm for a prawn suit. I haven't checked you. Ooh, what new upgrades? Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. I had that didn't need that. I feel like if I have the things, you should stop suggesting me the things. Do I want to waste my time going in there and potentially dying? No. I think I have been in that one. You get so lost going around this area. Here we go. Going around this area in the dark. It's hard to get a sense for where anything is. Whoa, two warpers at once. Three warpers at once! What is this? My Chris birthday? Christmas birthday all rolled into one? Oh yeah, now you stop. Now you stop the creepy music. When I actually get to the really creepy place, you stop the creepy music. That makes sense. That looks like a penis. Okay, no, that's that's the edge. I don't need to be here. I don't know where the fuck I am. As with always, just give me a gap. Just give me a gap to find what I need. Calorie intake recommended. Okay, is there anything I can eat down here? Can I eat a warper? I can eat a spade fish. Come here, spade fish. I need to devour you for sustenance and health. Come here. Aw, poor guy. Vital signs. Don't fuck. Jesus, you scared me, man! It was just a big eyeball all up close! God! Speedfish! Come here! Devour time! Boom. And then drink one of them. Cool! We're all good again. Sally! Pack it up! Let's go! Alright, just give me a gap. See stuff lower down, that's good, that's good. Oh, there's a vent up here as well. I mean, it makes sense. I think there's a vent in every biome. But can you imagine how hard it was to build all those? Just put them in all these different locations, just to pump water down into that base? That must have been troublesome for the workforce. Okay, you have a door that's not opened, and I really wish I had a... A method of gauging which ones I have found without just my own memory. Because there's a lot of places that look the same. Two doors I haven't opened. Oh look. It's garbage. All this door cutting open. It really makes me wish I stuck with Welder College. Maybe we should go back there once I leave this planet. That'd be nice. I wonder if Sandra's still there. I liked her. Is there anything fucking anywhere in here? Are you leading me down a pathway of no jimmies? More fucking doors. If I open this door and there's nothing behind it, Except disappointment and the taste of defeat in my mouth, then I don't know. I'm just gonna have to give up. Excuse me. Somebody wake me up. And this is over. Okay, it's a big old pile of hot nothing again. That's fine. Let me just keep exploring. Oh, look! Dead ends. 
This whole wreck was nothing? I saw something pop up. There was like a- some sort of dialogue thing popped up. What did you show me? Oh, it's just a fucking sealed door again. Well, I've wasted enough of my time and your time today that I think it's time to just let my character drown. I have found the gap, everybody! The gap is within sight! Now, what we're looking for... Keep your peepers peopled. We're looking for them eggs. We're looking from, for, for dem eggs from day crab squids. Is this an egg? Woo! I think that might be one. Go warpers! Attack the bads! Kill the enemy! Warp them home! Clean this planet! Just so happy that they're not attacking me anymore. It's so nice. Okay, we got one egg. That has to be a crab squid. There's nothing else really down here. I said I get a baby warper egg. Oh, da, 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 da. Whatever, I'm leaving. Cool! Oh, big mama. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hello. <laughs> right. Make yourselves known, eggs. This is all my Subnautica playthrough has become now. <laughs> it's me looking for eggs of things. I might as well be playing Pokemon. <laughs> it's fun though, I like it. I like having my aquarium full of people. Sorry. My bad- Oh, wait, no, I don't need to back out. Push. On. Through! You see those sexy skills? Giving you a masterclass on how to handle a Sally right now. Whoa. I was giving you a master class on how to vomit your own ass or through your mouth. You know why I think I like the crab squid sound so much? Because it feels so much more menacing than all the others. It feels like what a deep sea creature would be. From like a movie or something. Something down there would be like, and you can hear them in the distance a lot more than some of the other creatures. And I think that's cool. The sounds kind of permeate. And it gives it a way spookier sound than any of the other creatures. Some of them just sound like monsters, like generic monsters, whereas like ticks and clicks and weird shit like that that you're not used to hearing is what kind of freaks me out more. And the fact that you're so deep down and you hear that shit, that's way scarier. Yeah, keep up with the good fight, dude. Good job. Right, now we're in the Lost River. I don't really want to be here. Unless there's some eggs down here. I want to go to the Tree of Life. I want to see if there's anything in the middle of that. Did I, I scanned that thing, didn't I? I don't think I actually explored around it. Some people were talking about it in the comments. I don't know if there's anything there, but... I mean... When in Rome... Okay, there's a skull, so I'm going this way. Just realized my power is at 38. That's not that good. I don't know if that's enough to get me back out. Okay, it should be. It hasn't gone down since. So, that means it's going down at a very slow rate. Do I have any- Wait, what? Ah! Fuck! I forgot what side of this place I was on! Oh, mother of Christ! Fuck! <laughs> Can I scan this? Okay. I didn't scan this one before. Uh, gargantuan fossil! No, 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 no! No, 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 zigzag! Zigzag, that's how you get away! Okay, he went away. I forgot what side of this I came in on! Gargantuan fossil! The fossilized remains of an extinct super predator! Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator, like your boy here. I'm an ape apex predator of pizza. 
Dated at approximately 3 million years old. Rib cage measurements suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Calculations suggest this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. There are a series of precise angular indentations on the rib cage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. That's a third of the creature? My god! That's awesome! See, wouldn't it be cool if you went into the dead zone in the game and something like that came after you? I mean, it's extinct in the game now, so there's no more of them alive, so it wouldn't really make any sense, but it's just cool. Coolness over realness. That's how I want to live my life. Oh, I still have my little beacon down here. Right, we should be able to make it back out at least. I don't know, I'm probably going to come all the way down here and not find anything. I just kind of want to get close to this thing. Because these are things that I passed by, and I had kind of checked them out before in the earlier versions of the game, but when I came back to it, like, there was nothing really going on with this thing, so I just kind of left again. Warning. Maximum death Whoa, I didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you got it. You got it. Um, put you in there and hi. It's nice to be in an area where nothing wants to kill you all the time. But yeah, that that kind of suggests that the creature died before the catastrophe event. And then the volcanic eruption and all that kind of stuff just went around it. Oh, did I not scan you? I thought I scanned this. Giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays, grazing on its pink outer leaves. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches on the surface. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated Ghost Leviathan. It's a Ghost Leviathan egg! This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Oh, there's a bunch of them! Can I take one? <laughs> Can I take one from my aquarium? Even though the eggs themselves are bigger than the aquarium? Wow, look at that one! Because when... These, when this area was introduced, everyone expected it to be an egg, because, let's face it, it looks exactly like an egg. But, no one knew what type of egg. So now ghost leviathans are actually in the game. That's cool. Now we know where they come from. Still really want that egg, though. Can I have it? Underneath. Anything? Just a small ghost leviathan egg. I'm not gonna spawn one with the console commands. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> to spawn a little teeny tiny one, and then put it in my aquarium, and then you get a teeny tiny ghost leviathan. I want that! I want to have like ghost leviathans and reaper leviathans and that kind of stuff in the aquarium. Because it's a safe zone and they don't attack. And I want my babies to be my babies and be there forever. Maybe then I'll grow a loving relationship, and I want baby tiny warpers. I just want all the things. Okay, it's just a bunch of materials that I can get elsewhere, or at another time. Okay, I'm going to do something against my better judgment. I'm going to stab this egg. I wonder if a ghost of Ithan will show up and kill me. Nothing. Be so creepy if all the creatures turned and started killing you. Do I have any piece of this? 30 seconds. 
Boo! I should come back here at some point and build a tiny base and just build like a scanner room around here. Build my base back down there and build a scanner room in it. Imagine what types of things I'll find. That's what I'll do next time. I'll extend some bases in different locations. And then we can start scanning down here and I might find stuff that I didn't know was actually down here. And I can scan for more eggs and I can actually bring my scanners pretty far from where the base would be. I just might need to make it a bit more back down there just for the sake of power. But I guess I could extend the power out from... Now that I know that the power rods go really, really far, I can extend it out from the lava zone. That'd be neat. Oh yeah, let's do that! I would do it now, but I've... I don't have time. It's one of the things about recording Subnautica, and it's kind of become a struggle to do it daily. Because I have so much other stuff going on and recording like a very, very simple episode of Subnautica to try and get anything done. That's why I kind of gave up on finding the cuttlefish. Because you're just here for an like an hour and a half to two hours trying to find stuff and then if you don't find it then... I mean, you, I, I need to make something happen in the episode. So I like exploring. Because there's no real objective to it, I just do it and have fun. So, that's why some of the progress in some episodes is not as great as some of the others. Any eggs down here? Do you electric eel dudes have eggs? That'd be real cool. Another reason why I want to build a scanner room down around here. Ah, home sweet base. Even after the long journeys that I've done a million times, so it feels good to come back. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought it just broke. The legs for the base didn't spawn in in time and I thought my Sally just got trapped in the middle of them. Oh, that would have been horrible. Ah, I fell out. I want on. I died. <laughs> uh, I want to put the egg into the aquarium. If I'm inside in here, under the water, am I the one in an aquarium? <gasps> Think about it. Alrighty. Creature egg. Unidentified. Can I scan it? No. Oh, it's undulating a lot. Ooh. That's a weird one. Hopefully it's a crab squid. It's something new anyway. It's something that I haven't seen before, so I'm excited about that. And we found it in the deep down, dark deep down. Which means that it's not going to be something like a fucking peeper, or a spade fish, or a rabbit ray. Even though peepers don't lay eggs in the game. I could just catch them and put them into my aquarium, but... I like when stuff hatches. Vital signs stabilizing. I like, I like giving life to things. You know, makes me feel fulfilled. Right here... Where did they go in? We're gonna put down some floodlights. I don't know what way they're facing. What what way does the light shine from you? Because I want to kind of shine it up on my base. To make it look all badass, you know? So maybe here? That's not the right orientation at all! Put you here, maybe. Yeah, that's the right direction as well. Okay, and you're getting power from the base. I just want stuff to shine up. And shine on. And shine all around. Because it'll make my base look really awesome. And that's what I really want to happen. I want people to come by and be like, wow, that's a nice base. Um, You're the front. You're the lights. Okay, so. Then we have it shine. This way? You're the wrong orientation! Dag nabbit! Oh wait, no. It's the right orientation. There we go. Good? Good. Night time will tell. Night time is the right time to be able to tell what your stuff looks like. And I think that that's gonna look fantastic and nobody's gonna 
say otherwise. And what I also want to do, if I can, can I put a bulkhead here? Yeah! I want to put a bulkhead here because I like sealing off the bedroom. I like that idea of like my bedroom is just my fortress of solitude. It's where I go. I like being able to lock the door and keep it sealed and nothing can really get in at me. I have one window. I don't really know if I want the windows though. It's too much of the outside world getting in. I also just don't want these plain bastard walls so now I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. Can I put in tiny windows? Put in like a hatch. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Sleepy time! Also something I said I was going to get done at the start of the episode and didn't. Oh, now I can see the lights! The lights at nights! You might be in kind of a shitty position, but it's cool that I'm able to see my base. Neato! I want to build a... Kevin? How are you? And Carly! Oh, you're both here together. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for staying with Daddy. And, and trusting in me that I knew what I was doing. I need to build some exterior grow beds. I said I was going to do that and then I didn't do it. Um, kind of might need to build you on a foundation, but I hate going back and forth all the time. Can I not just build it somewhere like on top of this? I actually can. I was just joking. Can I build it on top of my... I can build it on top of the moon pool. <laughs> Oh, that's so ridiculous! Can I just put it like right there? Um, yes. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Stank root. I don't need to be hearing about that. But I can also get more food out of this This way then because this ex external one holds so many more Whoa Okay, I actually don't know if these are gonna do anything different just by being in here I don't think they're gonna spread or grow or multiply or anything like that So I don't know why I did that, but it's good to just have them there out of the way. I like it Is my egg hatched yet? I want to find out if you're a little crab squid. I want to see a teeny, tiny little crab squid. I think it's still growing. Yeah. Hatch! Oh, I have plant shelves. Oh, they're really nice. I should put them... Can I build two? Yeah. Cute! My house is coming together. I feel like a grown-up. I didn't realize I had them. Do I have any like shelves or anything? I have like glass tables and everything and a sign. I could put a sign down to be like world's most awesome base. Which I probably will do eventually, because it it is. Ooh, 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 ooh! Did it do it? Did it do it? Did it do it? It said it had a crab squid egg! Crab squid? Oh! <gasps> Look at him, he's so tiny! Oh, he's so cute! Are you gonna make the same sounds? Like, literally, like, pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, you are adorable! And now, by doing this, I can actually scan them. I don't have to go down and risk my life anymore. Because these take a long time to scan. Crab squid! This large predator- Haha, <laughs> large. He's a teeny tiny one. Can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful EMP to defend itself. Ten limbs feature different appendages for swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use. Creatures caught in its grasp are expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Wow. Behavior. Rays and other illuminated herbivores are its usual prey, and it will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Oh, I thought light sources got rid of it. 
Its EMP blast will likely develop as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms. So when you're around it, turn off all your lights. While crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to the intelligent squids of Earth, the organ inside the creature's head is in fact its stomach, which it must fill with startling regularity. Neutralizes electri electrical equipment. Lights attract its unwanted attention. Oh, I was doing it wrong all this time. Oh my god, I love him. Hi. Oh, you're adorable. Yay, we did it, everybody. We created a new member of the family. I want a whole aquarium full of, like, weird creatures. Doesn't make any sounds, though, which is disappointing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next time, I think I'm gonna go down and get a uh, base down in the deep down, dark deep down. And then we're gonna put a scanner room onto that, so I need to require the materials before I go. And then we're gonna start scanning for stuff in different locations. What I want to be able to do is put a scanner room in several different parts of the game and then just scan around just to see if there's anything that I haven't found yet. The bulb bush zone is also a place, it's over in that direction, that I haven't really gone to. I haven't really assessed it, I don't even know if there's anything in there worth getting. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I play the room. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! I'm going to retire to my quarters now, if you'll excuse me.